Today we are covering the M11, and I think this is the hip fire king. You know, if you are looking for a hip fire gun in the finals, this is the gun for you. It excels in that department in that 10 meter range with hip firing. And now if you're aiming down sights and you're hoping for a smooth recoil pattern, nope, this gun is not for you. Its recoil pattern is probably one of the worst in my opinion. Now, if you are gonna aim down sights and shoot, uh, I would recommend kind of doing it in spurts of like maybe 10 rounds to keep the, the trajectory being just up. But once you get past a certain point, it's all over the place. Um, now its damage profile is actually very similar, surprisingly, to the XP-54. Um, but the XP-54 does very well in the medium, the little bit longer range opposed to this gun. But if you want some movability and you just wanna dive in there and just do some hip firing, this is the gun for you. Hands down, this is the gun for you. Now for an argument for like the top, where, where it places for other lights guns, um, I'm probably gonna throw it in the top five. I think this is a top five gun um, just due to it having that sweet hip fire recoil. You know, it's, this is, this is really an offensive gun. I would not, this is not a defensive gun in any way. So if you wanna be an offensive player and like you love sliding around and moving a bunch, this is the gun for you. Hands down, this is the gun for you. So, you know, you guys let me know what you guys think of this gun and where it kind of sits in the ranking status. But that's kind of my thoughts of this gun. And so let me know down in the comments and I'll catch you guys out in the finals. Sponsors, thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.